Welcome to my channel, Mr. Ding Ding. They say there's this magic beast in Africa that could swallow a lion on land, bite an alligator in water, have no natural enemies, and live in land and water. It's one of the most dangerous animals to Africans, but for us, it's only a hippo. Scientists said they found hippos could change the geography conditions. The secret pest taking place in Uganda was because of hippos doing some indescribable things. What are they? Let's talk about it. In 2004, at Elizabeth Nation Park in Uganda, there was this secret pest. In one night, hundreds of dead hippos appeared in rivers. The locals were infected. They were afraid of drinking water or showering. So scientists came and researched, but what was the result? What was that secret? First, let's see our known concept of hippos. They were considered to be typical vegetarians. They eat 80 kilos of plants per day, and they loved eating at night with the moon hanging there, especially. They eat while they're walking, normally 10 kilometer, and that's good because, at that time, the sun is about to show itself. Then they hide in rivers, so that they would be dead because of the sunlight. They were afraid of sunlight because they could have thick skin, and that's no good for breathing and cooling. Those dead hippos we mentioned would turn into balloons, like the exploding whale we talked about. Their skin was so tough, and after they died, the microbes inside of them still produced gas, and they made the hippo into a balloon that could explode at any time. Maybe that's a subtle saying. But how tough are they? Look at this video and see how a lion bites a hippo. That could explain something. This is totally a tank. There is no way to bite it, only tickling to the hippo. No only is their back tough, but also their butt. Even the prince of the plain, Hyena, who loves attacking butts, will be afraid of them. The hippos are so calm, they eat grass fast. Though they eat 80 kilos of grass a day, it's only 5% of their weight. If we eat leaves, then one kilo of leaves could provide us with 130 k energy. If you could live with 2,000 k a day, then you gotta eat 15 kilos of leaves. That's 1,5 hippo. While a hippo is 30 times as heavy as you are, that's an unbelievable eating rate compared with cows. They were used to be laborers for thousands of years, and their eating efficiency is 15%. So if they were used as laborers, then no one would use cows and donkeys. And if hippos were used for meat provision, then there would be no place for chickens. But why don't we? That is the second feature of hippo's anger. In games, if there's any player that's like a hippo with a tough shell and unkillable skills, then it's impossible that he could hurt much. But in reality, hippos are like that bug on earth. They were tough and aggressive. The lions and chetas are all losers to him. Even at the same rate, Reno would be no competitor to Hippo. They gotta admit. And the only competitor is the alligators in deep water, because Hippo's legs are too short, so alligators could take advantage of the geography conditions and hurt them badly. But once they were in shallow water, the alligator would look like this, and Hippo's would be back to their boss. On land, they use their tiny legs, and they run faster than Bolt. 10% faster. They don't need to bite you. Just hitting you is enough. That would be like an SUV smashing you in waters. Watch the speed. Isn't that faster than you think? 8 km per hour, 10% faster than Phelps. Though they are angry in waters, they aren't able to swim. So how do they do that at that speed? Finally, the research begins. That's all that scientists knew about hippos. They look like gentle, loving grass, but never fuck with them. They're the first killers in Africa. 500 people die of hippos per year, and only less than 50 people die of lions. When a hippo is angry, it will bite a lion or an alligator, but they don't eat meat. They eat fast, so their stomachs and guts are not able to digest meat. So the scientists started. First, they found obvious bleeding symptoms around the mouth of each dead hippo. They were poisoned, and if we notice the position the bodies are in, then we'll find that it was along the river, towards the upper stream. 
So the first thing is to investigate the bronze factory in the upper stream to see if it was the metals. But after the check, they found that it was totally legal, no problem, and except for the hippos, no more creatures were poisoned. So it was not the water. So let's check the earth. Could there be anything poisoned on earth that was eaten by them at midnight? But no, so the last thing to do was cut them open. Let's see if there was anything inside that infected them, like a virus. Well, they found this rod-shaped pathogen that could be dyed purple. In their brain, is that the anthrax? They couldn't believe it, so they sent the samples to Germany to check them with more advanced machines. Well, but it was a sure thing that anthrax is a rod-shaped bacteria that could release spores. To spread the bacteria, there are three ways to do it. First, inhaling. If you accidentally inhale the spore inside, getting infected. Obviously, the hippos was not inhaling in them. Because that wouldn't be only the hippos second. By skin, the spore gets inside through tiny little wounds on skin that were the same as the first one. Not only the hippos last one, by stomach and guts, if they eat anything that was with spores, so this could infect one or two, like they were eating grass. Accidentally, there was dormant spore in earth and got infected. According to the results, there were no massive spores on earth. How do they solve this? Since there were no massive spores in their main food, the grass, so they might have eaten something that we don't know with many spores. What was it? Well, the truth was, the dead hippo meat. First, one or two hippos accidentally ate some spores and died. Then, their kins came and ate them and died. The same things went on and on. So it came to the influenza in hippos. That was crazy. Aren't they eating grass? Well, actually, we know nothing about them. The fact is that they eat grass and they love eating can rotted meat. In 2005, after the investigation, scientists put them into omnivores. They met them in a new way from evolution perception. On the Earth, the most related animal are alligators. Maybe 30,000 years ago, there was an animal called Anthracotherium. Some of them went into the sea to be dolphins and the others stayed and became hippos. That could explain it. How do they move fast in waters up and down? Do they look like dolphins? In fact, they could not swim with such a shape. They actually ump in waters, and they sink. Then they kick, and they come out of water. Then they go down, kick to be up here. Maybe it's tiring, but they're still faster than Phelps, except that they got a second way, using the fat. They could turn with a swoosh with their little tail in their eyes, noses, and ears. There's a water-resisted thing that could shut off automatically when they're diving. But in their eyes, it was a clear glass, elegant. They could dive for five minutes, and they even used such a position to sleep in waters that were cousins to alligators. The tiny hippos are so cute, and they were born with such sucking skills, and they could do whale songs as well. When they are underwater, they could provide sounds like dolphins and laughter. But if it were on land, that would be scary. 115 dB at most. That was the same when you were four meters away from the stage at a concert. Your eyes would be shaken, and if it remained for a dozen seconds, you might faint. So the lion roar was for fiction, but the Africa hippo roar was real sonar weapons. Besides, they got something more aggressive, the situation is always much worse than you see in the videos. You could learn that in a zoo. It's not proper to put the video up here. You could spray, but why is your tail helping get rounds? Actually, they were making sure of their lands, just like the dogs peeing. They never attack people or other animals on purpose, unless they assume that you're invading and they would get mad and kill you in a sec normally. Hippo districts in zoos are the most smelly places because if a keeper goes in for cleaning and is considered an intruder, that would be horrible, so they normally don't clean there, and their shit was so smelly. In 2018, on the, on the Mala River, which was a large river in East Africa, every August and September, there would be this big migration, and scientists watched this for hundreds of years. But around 2000, 
they found that every year before the migration, there was this wet season in the Mala River, and the fish and shrimp would be massive, but no. Here, the fish died and died. Why? Scientists suspected there's some pollution but nothing for years, so they suspect it was the geography. Normally, it's got to be clear, but it never was. There must be some geographic reason. What if some poison stuff was released in rivers that time every year for three years more? Nothing. In 2018, they knew the killers were those 4,000 hippos. Dayton said the hippos release 8.5 tons of shit, and the river was 100 kilometer long, so they put the web in water along the bridge, and in a few seconds there would be 250 grind of shit on it. They were everywhere in waters, and in the stones there were shits for millions of years. So, they were killed by shit. Moreover, in the dry season, there were thousands of hippos in small rivers, and they're full of NH2, CH4, H2S. The bacteria ran out of oxygen, and there's one more problem. What do they eat with such an amount? They got this superpower, that is, let's say, regurgitating fat. Like the combination of cows and camels. The cows eat the grass and save it in their stomachs, then they spit a little when they are hungry. The camels turn foods into fat, save it in their humps, and they'll have some fat when they're hungry. Hippos are a combination of, they eat grass for three weeks, and they eat nothing in three weeks, still pooping and there's the wet season. They love shitting in ponds, and the flush is like a toilet. Scientists said they installed 17 testers in the lower stream, and they all showed that there was not enough oxygen in the stream flowing down here, no more for fish in such dirty waters. That's the reason why it was never clear. At last, Dayton put it on nature. Named the organic Agesta by hippos makes the downstream out of oxygen and fish dying astonished so the whale video was not the most smelly story that I told. This one's worse, and there's five more secrets about them. 1. They sweat under the sun, and it's red. It looks like a fine horse, but in fact, it was not blood, but a redness called hipposidoric acid, which is used for sunlight proofing and prevents bugs and bacteria. That's great. Two. Their mouth could be in 150 degree and more. The strength is top in Africa, especially their teeth tough. And watch closely, they got no grinding teeth like us. So how do they chew? They had smart muscles in their mouths, and they could grind for them. 3. They fall in love in a strange way, just like how they mark the land by spraying shit on their faces. That's a sharing shit relationship. 4. Hippo could be eaten taste like Africa. Only Africans love that. I got a friend who went to Kenya and he ate hippos. He said the guidance took a pot and boil hippo for them in hotels. For three days the pot reached its limit, but the flesh was raw, hard to bite at all, and it tasted like Chinese parsley and doozy five. They're gentlemen in Africa. People shot videos about them driving alligators out of the door and saving other animals. Though scientists said it was only coincidence that the alligator was invading him, people believed that they're like their cousins, dolphins, and alligators. They were spirits in nature. Hippos didn't go into waters back then. Maybe they had missions to do. Okay, that's all for today's story. Thank you, what are your thoughts after seeing today's video? Feel free to leave your comments below. I appreciate you seeing. Greetings. Have a look at the next video.